Welcome to No BS TS Challenge Number One, and this is where we take what you've learned from the first four episodes of this series and put it into practice and see how you've internalized it. So let's take a look at our challenge. So this is a Dune-based challenge. With I'm excited about the the coming out Dune movie, and uh, what we have is a list of the some of the great houses of the Lanzrad. And then over here, we've got the interface that we want. So we want a house. We want the house to be given an, an ID. At the end of this function, find houses, where you can either give it a JSON stringified version of the houses or just a, an array of houses. And you'll get back ones that have an additional ID. And then... Additionally, you can specify a filter and filter down what you want to see. So the output that we're looking for would be in console.log down here. We can go and stringify the house data and then look for the Atreides, stringify the house data, and then in this case, not stringify the data and look for the house Harkona. Okay, so try it out, pause the video, and then when you're done, come back and I'll show you a solution. Okay, well, while you're away, I watched all of season eight of Game of Thrones, and I can tell you it wasn't very good. So uh, what we're going to do is first start off with copying and pasting our stuff that we got from this assignment. So first I'm going to bring in houses.json, paste that in there. And then down here, I'm going to go create another file, and we'll call it uh, index.ts. Paste that in there, and okay, so not looking so good at the moment. A lot of syntax errors, so there we go, okay. So the first thing we need to do is bring in that data. So import houses from, so you can bring in JSON if you want to. There's an option for that, but I'm just going to go and convert this to TS. That's going to make it a little bit easier on us. So let's go and change this to TS. And then from here, I'm going to use what we learned in episode two around exporting this as the default. Okay, so now we have our houses and we need to define what a house is. So we go back over here, we got a name and we got planets, which can be either a string or a string array. So let's uh, specify that. First one is a name and the second is a list of planets, which is either a string or a string array. Again, we learned about the union types in episode two, if you want to go check that out. And then a house with an ID is just going to be the same thing again, but with an ID as a number. All right, so now we need an implementation of this. So I'm going to go create find houses, and I'll copy this right there, okay. And so for houses, I'm gonna use that union type again and say that it's either a string or a list of houses. And then for the filter, it's gonna be a question mark. So let's see, did it like that so far? So let's see. Okay, so now everything is checking out, but it's not really doing what we want. So the first thing to do is to actually get the houses from the string, if there's a string, or from the array. So I'm just gonna change this to input. So I'm going to create a local called houses, which is going to be an array of houses. And I'm going to look at the input to see if it's a string or not. And then if it's a string, I'm going to JSON parse that. Otherwise, I'm just going to take the input is the array of houses. Okay, so now we've got an array of houses. And the next thing that we want to do is, okay, so now we've got an array of houses. And the next thing that we want to do is actually take a look to see if we've got a filter or not. So if there's a filter, then we want to do houses.filter and run that filter on it. Otherwise, you just want to take all the houses. And then from there, we want to map and take that house and then create 
a house with the ID. So it needs an ID first. And we'll get that from somewhere. Let's set that to zero at the moment. And then everything else in-house. Great. Okay. That looks good. So now really the only question is how to get that ID. Well, I could go over here and do index on that. But that's a little tricky because we run this filter first. And that means that if you were to filter out stuff, you get different IDs. So what we really want is the, the index of the original array. So let's go and set the ID to the houses.index of, and then this current house. All right, let's take a look and see if it works. So in order to set up our project, we're gonna follow the steps that we did in episode one. So first we're gonna do a yarn init dash Y. That's gonna create our package.json, really doesn't have much in it. From there, I'm going to go and yarn add TypeScript and TS node in development mode. And then finally, I'm going to go and do the TSC init to create our TS config file. Okay, looking pretty good. So let's run this and see if it actually runs. MPX TS node index.ts. Oh, all right, pretty good. And you can apply any filter you want to that. So if you want to go and find who's on Giddy Prime or who's on Caladan, you can do all that kind of good stuff. All right, so what are some things that we can do to clean this up? They will find out in the episodes that follow. Well, one thing we can do is we don't have to go and redo all of house in house with ID. In fact, that would be problematic if we wanted to go and add new stuff into here, you know, cool as a Boolean and all that. We really want that to kind of percolate down into house with ID. So how do we do that? Probably the easiest way to do that would just be to say that we extend house and just add on ID like that. So that's pretty handy. And then we can actually simplify this signature a little bit more. We can change one of these so that it's uh, string or houses, and then we can get rid of this. So now it's just down to that. And actually, really honestly, we can probably just collapse all of this down into just find houses. And there you go, let's give that a try. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so with a combination of this type union here and the optional filter there, looks like we've got the signature that we're looking for. And uh, yeah, the only other thing I can think of is if you want to go and go back to houses.json. So let's get rid of the export and then change that back to a JSON file. And then change the extension to JSON. Cool. We need to format the document. Actually, okay, we'll just put some quotes around it. Fine. All right, looking good. Now let's go and bring it in over here from houses.json and let's give it a try. So let's run this. And what we get is an error where it says that we can't bring anything with the JSON extension unless we add resolve JSON module either as a command line parameter or to our TS config. So let's go back over here to our TS config, scroll anywhere you want really, it doesn't really matter. Add a new item here. And a really nice thing about VS Code in this case is if we type in, we actually get hinting on this. So resolve JSON module is true. And let's do this again. And apparently our JSON is off. So, oops, yep. There we go. There we go. That's probably why I didn't want to clean up in the first place. And away we go. Okay, so there we go. Now it reads JSON as well. Okay, can't wait to see you folks in the next set of videos. We're gonna get into optionals. We're gonna get into classes. There's all kinds of great stuff coming up. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you really like the video, of course, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new one of these videos comes out.